Recruiting at parties. So recruiting at a party is definitely one of those things that kind of unravels throughout the party. So when I was talking about in the party outline video where I kind of plant the seed early, it's part of my intro where I just kind of toss it out there that, you know, if anybody's looking to make extra money, this could be the way to do it. Um, and then they get to watch me have fun and run the rest of the party. And then when everyone sits down to do the application, they watch the people at the party fall in love with the wraps and they see how easy it is for everybody. And one thing about Jamboree products is they just come across to people so well. Women love them and the designs and the excitement. And it's one of the reasons I like doing home parties. But when you plant that seed early about the business opportunity and then everybody is watching that happen, they kind of think, hey, if it's that easy, maybe I could do it too. So, and it's not something that everybody will consider doing until you plant that seed in the beginning. I don't approach people and ask them if they're interested in the business. I find that just planting that seed early, people will actually come back after the party and let me know that they're interested or they'll start asking me questions. When people start asking questions about the business, you know that they've been thinking about it. So <laughs> you kind of start to remember who those people are um, and make sure that you sit down with them before they leave and, you know, definitely have a little chat with them or, you know, tell them that you'll call them and you can, you know, give them some more information. The only people that I will target that I will actually ask outright if they're interested in the business are those people that sit down at the table that are really loud about their sudden love of Jamboree and how cool it is and look at this and you know like Stacy check this out check this out do you see this did you see this well did you know that you could do that with it did you know that <laughs> those are the people you know with those upbeat personalities that are like openly vocal about how awesome they think Jamboree is when they've you know only just learned about it those are the people that I'll kind of sit down and say you know if you love it that much then you should think about you know, signing up and selling this yourself. When that happens, when I have those people that, you know, are asking questions or they contact me after, I always, always set up a time to meet them. I will call them and I actually like to go sit down with them face to face. And I tell them, you can come over for coffee and, you know, we'll talk a little and bit more. One thing that I want to stress when you're doing that, when you actually do have the sit down, don't overwhelm people with information and be really laid back about it. You know, I, I give people the basics right off the, like, right off the get-go about, you know, what comes in the kit, because so much comes in the kit. Like, you really don't need to invest in anything else when you get started doing this. A tablecloth. I think the only other thing I bought was a tablecloth so that I didn't wreck people's tables. Um, you know, so the cost of the kit, what comes in the kit, and I rave about it because I think the kit is just amazing. And um, I make sure that I tell people that we make 30% off of anything that we sell, starting from zero. Because if they've ever looked into a direct sales company before, there are a lot of companies that do not pay their consultants until they've sold a certain amount. We don't have minimums for our commission. We make commission from the first wrap that goes out the door. So um, it's one of the things that I make sure I tell people. And then after that, they kind of look through the catalog and they look at the kit and they start asking questions. And I let them lead the conversation after that, if it's somebody that's really, really good with numbers, you know, they're going to be really interested in the commission chart. If it's somebody that's not good with numbers, there's no point in pulling out the commission chart and getting into it and overwhelming them. Um, they'll ask you the question. The other person that I will target at a party is always the hostess. She is the one that loved Jamboree enough to invite you into her house and invite all her friends and share it with everybody. And... She has watched you do the entire process from setup, well, from the booking to the setup to the closing at the end. And the hostess rewards are set up so that when they get that $25 or that $50 kit credit, even if the hostess hasn't mentioned to you that they might be interested in the business, I would make sure that they know that that credit is there and they have a chance to use it or not. Definitely, definitely keep hostesses in mind. And always mention the business opportunity. All you have to do is mention it. Don't ever be scared to talk about the opportunity with people or to share how much you love the company and what the company has done for you.